And thankfully here at home, we have a much more pleasant stretch of weather as high pressure has been taking over over the last 24 hours or so. That is keeping our weather nice and dry. We can see that area of high pressure right now across Minnesota, and that's going to drift across much of the Midwest today. But as we look off to the east, closer to the northeast, as we head towards Connecticut and, and New York, they're seeing more rounds of rain later on today. So we'll just make sure to keep an eye on that flooding threat off to the north and east. But meanwhile, with this high pressure system in the northeast, they're going to get a push of fall like air as we head towards the middle of the week we kind of find ourselves in between patterns here so this high pressure going to be drawing in a little more of that cooler air initially as we head towards Tuesday and Wednesday however there's going to be a large and very hot air mass across much of the central U.S. and that's going to get pulled in as this high pressure system moves out takes the fall air with it off to the east and then over the central U.S., that hotter air begins to come right through. So make sure to take advantage of the free AC while we've got it now because we're going to need the actual AC later on this week. Temperature wise today getting into the middle and upper 70s as we turn towards a mix of sun and clouds. Just a few more clouds building in as just some fair cumulus clouds. A very nice day up ahead. We'll also have a little bit of a breeze too. So really can't write it much better for this time of year. Probably just want to maybe have some some lunch outside today as we just have gorgeous summer late summer weather for today. Tonight down to 56 degrees for a low as we start a cooling trend with that cooler air getting drawn in. A few clouds will be lingering overhead, but otherwise very nice night up ahead and tomorrow cooling off just a little more. We get into the upper 70s today, more like the mid 70s tomorrow, just a couple degrees cooler, still with plenty of sunshine and then a little more cloud cover as we head towards the afternoon. Maybe not as much of a breeze though so that's going to be pretty much the really the only change between today and tomorrow then with this high pressure coming through it's not just drawing in cooler temperatures it's also drawing in much drier air all the rain chances pretty much staying right around us there is a little a wave that could be coming through towards iowa heading towards tuesday and wednesday but notice how it just dries up by the time it reaches our area that's thanks to that high pressure. So that's going to keep us all nice and dry, which is something that we've gotten used to this August. In the first two weeks, we had one of the driest two week starts to August ever in the city of Rockford. And then Thursday and Saturday, we had that rainy and stormy stretch of weather, got over an inch of rain, which did us some good uh, in terms of our rainfall, but we're still an inch below average. And in the week up ahead, varying chances very slim. So just make sure to enjoy the dry weather while we've got it. Probably need to get the, the garden hose or the sprinklers going. Otherwise, cooler temperatures for now, but heating up heading into next weekend. And in your most accurate 10 day forecast, we'll notice that those hot temperatures do continue there. We could even be making a run at 90 by this time next week. So Manny, let's try to you know take advantage of the beautiful weather now before we got to head inside with the air conditioners later on.